Let's see, we are understand um, subnetting. Now I'm going to talk about uh, BLSM, variable length subnet mask, classless interdomain routing. Sometimes it refers to supernetting and summarization. Every slash values are representing the um, subnet mask. Also, the they have their own uh, address range, <coughs> like slash 25 has unknown 28 address, slash 26 has 64 address, slash 27 32 address, slash 28 16 address, slash 29 8 address, and slash 30 has 4 address. We are not going to say uh, slash 30 and slash 30, 30, 31 32. Because there are no available host range, so okay. Let's let's look at this picture that I draw. Um, it's not really a good picture, but uh, it's, I think it's really helpful to you. So without considering VLSM, okay, there are three one links. Usually, one links are point to point, so it needs uh, two addresses. So there are three one links, or there are uh, total six addresses. So by using slash 26, what are the slash 26 uh, available host address range? So slash 26 has 64 addresses, but you can use broadcast and network addresses, usually Broadcast addresses are um, 63, uh, 127, 191, and then 255. So, and then network, what are the net, network addresses on slash 26? Um, 0, 64, 128, 192. So uh, you can use those 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 addresses like zero uh, okay one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot zero that's a network it repre re represents the network so one dot zero and then one dot uh, sixty three is one dot sixty three is broadcast address so by using slash twenty six on these one links that's a lots of there are lots of wasted addresses. You are wasting. You are wasting the addresses. So if, instead of using slash thirty, slash thirty has four addresses. But you, you, like I said, you can use network network address and broadcast address. So you have to use uh, other two addresses like um, between them. So. By using uh, by using PLSM, your subnets are going to be like this. Now I'm using on slash thirty for every one links and slash twenty six for the other networks. Those are needed in uh, 60 holes each. So the slash 26 has 64 addresses, so you, you can use 60 holes address on every connections, for every connections. So it's in VLSM, uh, it's going to be like this. Let's draw how it looks like. One of zero sixty-four and one twenty-eight. There are sixty order range. Okay, it's gonna be like this.
with this. Sorry. Um, the slash 26 is like this. Slash 26. Zero, uh, zero to me. Zero to 63. 63 to to 55 so you're using a uh, slash 30 on one links it's uh, uh, there the uh, first slash 30 addresses are start from 1.192 so you are using like this one and slash 30 one and two one of slash 30 has four addresses so you are dividing slash 26 to slash 30 let's see it has in slash 26 in slash 26 there are there are uh, slash 16 slash 30 so 192 to uh, 192, 193, 194, 195 195 then uh, what else 196 to 197, 198, 199, and then 200 to 204, and 200, 200 to 203, and then 204 to 204, 205, 6, 7, 207, and so on. So, uh, so that saved lots of addresses. The VLSM is is considering um, to sufficient using IP addresses in using IP addresses. So just take a look at my notes. Class A address will start from zero zero. Class B start from one zero in bits plus you start from one one in bits okay if you multiply all two five five two five five you can get these numbers this to this is the number uh, there's a total number which are available in IP v version 4 so so we need to consider VLSN now whenever we are doing the subnetting okay so summarization as a short note when we are doing summarize summarizations you have to translate all your IP addresses or network addresses to bits then find the less common bits position and translate back to slash that slash value will be the your sum your summarize summarization as Routing summarization. Route summarization. Thank you.